at the Montserrat Contemporary Art Gallery on West 27th, and this is Rosa Perdui's painting. She definitely, this is called the Poppies Have Tears, and you can see the bright red colors and the small tears coming down from each of the petals. So it's a very emotional picture. She means something. And she also has a painting over here that is very much like a Georgia O'Keeffe. So right here, she's got very graphic colors, the opening and the leaves around the outside. So her colors are intense and simple right here, but very strokey on the outside with the greens and lushness. Good. So another Rosa Pardui painting in black and gray and white. There's a fish. It's traveling through flowers. It's splashing in and waterfall. Now we have a gradation of flowers and uh, we call it the gradation of color. So from light to dark and all the different roses. And then this beautiful piece, Golden Series. She signed everything on the side, not to interfere with all of the golden. So I got here. So I got a full scholarship to go to to go to uh to this school. I gave a half a really expensive private school and I can't make a half of your go here. So I there. This is my abstract phone booth with uh, abstract expressionism brush strokes. Here's my painting from above in abstracts plywood poured painting and another poured painting on canvas. I'm Maria de Chevarria. I have painted these paintings that you have here. Nature inspired me a lot. As you can see, for instance, here, these are sunsets inspired in New Mexico, where I have a, a studio also. I paint in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and in New York. Another one inspired by nature. I have a series of this. They are all fields. This 
is Caribbean dusk. Some people like it. Love it. <laughs> okay. Love it. And uh, you can see more nature there, more landscapes. In this section or room, I have some of my figures. I especially like to, to paint female figures. A little girl over here. This is called Resilience and it was inspired for the terrible time that we have considering the people who had to leave their countries because political or social reasons. And um, this is another of my figures, very much the background inspiring New Mexico. Another landscapes. This is called Misty Evening. And this is another landscape, another sunset. The last one that I have in this exhibit is this one inspiring the landscape but in the East Coast. There we have the big moon. And this is the wake of the boat that is not there anymore. Please, What do you think about this artwork? Right? Right? Do you feel um, 
the, the whole feel of this artist who is Wari Chopra. The feel is, is meditation. And, and then the expansiveness of what happens with meditation that expands to the whole world. Like you can see the swirls and see all the... For this, it kind of looks like a black wood. Right, right. But it keeps on going. So it's like, and the forever fingers. Especially in each time I come back, it's something different. Yeah. So like the meditation and that's where her artwork comes from, like the whole chakra and yeah, expansive. Oh, wow, okay. You have to, totally. Yes, yes. So we're here at the Montserrat Gallery of Contemporary Art looking at Guara Chopri's artwork, which in develops the whole world <laughs> through meditation and art. <laughs>